So what's up, y'all? I'm wanting to go here, and today we're taking a look at the NECA Ultimate Feral Predator, so stay tuned. So this is the NECA Ultimate Feral Predator, and, um, but you remember maybe about a few months ago, around last Christmas, I had done a Christmas haul video, and I showed this figure off, and, um, so today I finally actually decided to review it, and, you know, this figure is really cool and really amazing so um also i got a new turntable thing here as you can see so i wanted to kind of show that off in the video you can see it that actually works out pretty pretty good so let's first get into the packaging so here is the uh, packaging and as you can see it's got the prey logo on the side there which uh, i actually got the movie too for christmas if you remember that on my christmas whole video but as you can see it ultimate feral predator and they did NECA did make another version of this predator where it's the one that's cloaked with the blood and all down it. But I might get that version too. That version is actually really cool. But um, right now I got this version. So as you can see, Prey, Ultimate Feral Predator on the side there. Same thing on the this side. And you see on the back here, you have you know some images and a read up. If you want to read that, go ahead and pause it. And as you can see, there's some pictures and all the accessories that it comes with. And you can like all Ultimate figures, you can open this on the front. You see, there's a good picture of the feral predator and there's way where the figure would be packaged right there so i like this ultimate packaging it's a lot easier to open than them clamshells and clamshells are a pain to try to open so i'm glad they gave this figure the ultimate treatment so so without further ado let's get into the accessories so as you can see this figure comes with the hot toys level of hands and um now there's also already two hands on the figure itself but as you see you got two open hands two you know a couple of gripping hands a, a fisted hand, you know, and, um, trigger holding hands, you know, which, uh, now the right trigger holding hand is meant for the other, the, like the, uh, uh, bolt shooting accessory, which actually that works better than the left hand, so, and I'll explain why here in a little bit, but that's all the alternate, alternate hands that you have there. So his next accessory are his wrist blades here, as you can see, which are a very kind of AVP looking to me, as you can see. And um, now these just plug into the, the gauntlet, they're not like retractable and stuff like some of the other ones. But so um, I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like in. So there's how the figure looks with his wrist blades on. And I threw a fish head on there to kind of help the look out, as you can see. And you have to plug them into the wrist gauntlet there. And I normally don't explain them like this because I'm afraid, you know, if you know, because you know, they'll you know, figures they'll, they'll take tumbles off the shelf sometimes. I'm afraid if. You know, he takes a tub off the shelf with those sticking out like that. It might snap them off. So I usually don't just them like that. That does look cool, but like I said, they, they, they don't really get a good secure fit into there either. So that's another problem. And you can see they're not, they're, they stick out wide too. They're not, they're not, they're not like they're supposed to be in, in the movie. So, um, but still, it's a pretty cool option if you want to display them that way. He also comes with two different versions of his shield. You got the one where it's closed up and then where it's, you know, folded out. As you can see, it's the same piece right there it's just the ones folded out my one of my lights just died so if you wonder what that was but as you can see that's how that is and there he is with the you know closed up version of the shield and there he is with the opened up version which looks pretty cool he also comes with his med pack as you can see there's a lot of silver and like bronze color in there which is pretty cool you know it's like, like kind of like a dark wash on there too making it look kind of you know worn and dirty which looks pretty cool and in the back there it's pretty this much the same thing and and details and stuff like that and it looks like some lettering and stuff which is pretty cool now you may be wondering how do you attach this onto the figure there's no peg or nothing like that and how they done this is actually pretty cool he's actually got like magnets in his back so the magnet will hold it on you know that looks pretty cool because um that's pretty much how it was in the movie you know how that how they actually attached it in the movie i don't know it's probably use like magnets or something like in the movie too how in the predator universe how he actually had that on his back without it falling off, I have no idea. But so that's pretty pretty neat how they done that with the magnet. We also have his bolt gun. And you know, instead of a plasma caster, this predator uses the, the like bolt gun, which is pretty cool. There's a bolt on top that looks like it's ready to be loaded. His what well, he uses his uh the laser sight thing with too. And um in this movie the predator here his technology was more advanced than humans, but it wasn't as advanced as you know, predators from other movies. Which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, he has more primitive technology compared to most predators. And as you can see, like the other things, it's got like kind of a coppery and silver 
color, a lot of detail in there too. And like the the backpack, this can be stored on his back, like in the movie, because there's like a magnet in there that will hold it, as you can see. Which that looks pretty cool. You know, a good way to store it. And he can hold it, as you can see. And um, that's how the left hand works a little bit better, because the trigger finger on the right trigger finger hand here, as you can see, it's got sideways hinge. That one's got the up and down hinge, so that makes it easier for him to wield it you know, in an aiming pose. And in the movie, I think he did use it more often left-handed, I believe. I could be wrong, but I think that he used it in his left hand more often. So that, that's one way I display this project. That looks really cool. Well, and last but not least, we got two versions of his combi stick. So first we got this closed version of the combi stick, which looks pretty cool. And um, now there's two plastic hooks on in the package where you can hook this onto his back. But I never did take those out because I don't want to lose those plastic hooks. So that's why I just left them in the, in the package. But uh, as you can see, that's you know pretty cool. It's all closed up, you know, to be stored. And you also got this really long extended combi stick, which looks pretty cool as you can see there's the blade in there which is kind of thin so i'd be careful with it i wouldn't bash it around it's a good snap off possibly as you can see it's all extended out and these are uh, the closed version those are closed in as you can see and these are flared out on this, on this extended version which looks pretty cool and just like in the movie you can unpeg this in the middle as you can see like he did in the movie which is pretty pretty cool so with articulation this predator has pretty good articulation he's got a a ball joint at the head and a hinge at the neck there so we can get a pretty good looking down motion He's got a hinge and a swivel at the shoulder and at the bicep there He's got a double hinge at his elbow at a hinge at each wrist He's got a uh, like an ab articulation and waist articulation there. This is a little bit stiff up here so He's got thigh good thigh articulation. He's got a double Jointed knee as you can see he also got some ankle articulation and a little bit of ankle pivot not a whole lot so let's take a look at the sculpt design and color of the Feral Predator. Starting with his head, which I'm going to have to jam my camera up there. There we go. And as you can see, he's got the Predator style mask on it, and it's got the closed mandibles. There are uh, uh, two different mandibles you can interchange, which I saved to show you to now so I can show you how they interchange. But um, as you can see, the mask is like a bone structure, as you can see, very primitive like mask. And it's got the mandible sticking out too, like how on a vintage counter predator would do and a lot of theories go around that this mask was made out of the river ghost from the you know from predators which you know it, it's a possibility it actually looks a lot like that river ghost from predators which is pretty cool but uh, you can remove the mask and uh and see there's some pretty good detail on the inside of the mask where you would see and do all that stuff and as you see there is the face of this predator which is a very different looking predator than most predators and um a lot of fans, you know, uh, I think this, or, or it's just not, like, not fan speculation, but a lot of, um, this predator is like a predator species from like a, like a desert area, they believe, I think. And, um, so you got the closed mandibles on here. So you can unpeg the mandibles from the head here, which is a little difficult. So there we go. So you see that looks really weird with the mandibles. And you can peg the new mandibles in it's kind of like how hot toys does sort of pegging the new mandibles in as you can see he's kind of like kind of got his mandibles mid open and you can put the mask on any of them as you can see and you, and you got kind of a mid open so there he is with the screaming wide open mandibles as you can see but that looks really cool out you know i like all three of these mandibles i might have to interchange them out because i actually like all three mandibles so um so here is what he looks like with the mask on so here's what he looks like with the mask on with the wide open mandibles because that looks really cool like I said a minute ago, I'll probably, uh, every now and then go and change the mandibles out, kind of, it will get a different look at every once in a while, because, like I said, I like all three of these mandibles, so I'll probably, you know, you know, utilize all three of them. Okay, so, so getting back to the details, you can see the dreads on this Predator are very, uh, just standard dreads. There's no, like, jewelry in the dreads like most Predators have, like the, you know, let me bring the other one in here for comparison. As you can see, these dreads have a lot of, like, like jewelry in them and stuff, and you see these uh, for the trail predator are just standard dreads. And uh, you see the bag, you know, there's nothing on here, but there's some hair kind of sticking up off the top there, which looks pretty cool. You know, this predator, you know, unlike most predators, doesn't utilize very much armor like like uh, like, like you know most predators do, and um, I mean, the AVP predators utilize a lot of armor. 
Yeah, this one's pretty, you know, bare bones. You know, there's not much to it. You know, I guess you know he's yeah, just I just duke the paint out, I guess. But as you can see, he's got both wrist gauntlets where you can plug the shield into one wrist gauntlet and the blade in the other. As you can see, a lot of pretty cool detail like the silver and the bronze and stuff. He's got the swap shield there. As you can see, he does have like a um a waist uh like a one cloth, I should say. It's kind of got a little bit of like armor stuff on it. Which, you know, the skin tone does continue up into there. But, um, as, as you can see, and, uh, you can see there's the skin tone on the, on the rear end there, as you can see. There's that, that kind of weapon, which he did use in the movie, but, um, you really can't take it off from here. Those hooks that came would, would mount on here somewhere. There's this thing, which I can't remember exactly what that was for. There's the wolf skull that he got towards the beginning of the movie. Still got some blood on it. As you can see, there's like some silver plugs on here, too. Maybe that's where he... Use his med kit to, you know, fix some wounds. And, uh, and then you can see the black dots go down his legs. And, uh, there's like a, like a pink line on his chest there, which I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but as you can see, the legs, or the, he's got some wraps around his ankles there, and he's got the feral predator feet there, which as you can see, he's got the black dots in the same skin tone. But also some detail on the bottom there, which is actually pretty cool. You're not gonna see that, but that's cool they added that detail on the bottom. So it is comparison time, and as you can see, here's his new feral predator compared to the you know classic predator from from the original predator as you can see and you can see this new feral predator is actually a lot taller than that or you know quite a bit taller than that you know classic looking predator so you know like i said that could possibly mean this is you know, like a different predator species but um, as you can see which one do i like better you know i think more of the you know classic looking predator when some like you know says you know predator but you know this feral predator is, is pretty cool though so here he is compared to one of my other favorite predators that I have from NECA, which is the Serpent Hunter. And, uh, which I did consider reviewing him first, but, you know, since I knew where all the accessories were for the, you know, Feral Predator, that's why I decided to go ahead and do him. Which, um, for the, that's Serpent Hunter, I gotta find his, uh, uh, shuriken. But, uh, that's the only thing I'm missing. But, uh, so there's, you know, them compared to which, which, which one of those I like better. You know, I don't you know that, uh, Serpent Hunter uses the AVP style body, and then this uh, Feral Predator's got, I think it's completely new uh, color. I don't think there's any reused parts there. Like, you know, like I said, the Serpent Hunter, you know, reuses some parts from other Predators, but, you know, still, you know, both of them are pretty cool. There's one of my other, this Feral Predator's probably also one of my favorites. So, what do I think of this figure overall? Yeah, you know, I really like this figure, and um, it's probably one of my favorite Predator figures I do own, and this is the way I usually display them. Like I said, with the Man of Wolves, I'll probably change them out every so often like I said earlier but as you can see now um I really don't have any problems with this figure either you know I mean there's not much I can really anything I can complain about it you know like I said I'll probably get that you know cloaked with a bloody version too you know when I get it I'll do a review on it too but, um so if you want to see more predator reviews give me a thumbs up that helped me out a lot and don't forget to hit the subscribe button till next time and you know kind of make it different because one of my